Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, back with more Legends of Eidolon, and we're taking a look at the post office today. The post office is unlocked in World 2, the Yum Yum Desert, and when you arrive here, you will have a quest from the post office. The post office requires you to gather five empty boxes. The boxes are unlocked from the Anvil Tab 2, and does require some materials to make. The distilled water from alchemy, the hermit can from fishing, and the megalodon tooth from the mimic hole in World 2. Once you gather your five boxes, you will be able to unlock the post office, and the main screen looks something like this. There's a lot of information here, but let's break it down. So to begin with, you have three companies that require different themes of materials. The simple shipping requires any crafting materials from World 1 or 2, such as logs or ore, or even produced items from smithing. The Planet Express requires crafted items from the anvil. It can be anything from the very basic items up to platinum items. Platinum does seem to become more common as you increase your order streaks, but we'll get to that in a minute. The Dudes Next Door requires any monster drops from World 1 or 2. And then when you complete enough of these orders, you'll be able to unlock the second tab. The Down Under Delivery requires rare materials from World 1 or 2. And the Alpine Suppliers requires materials from World 3 Monster Drops. The Cosmic Carrier is not currently available after the first shipment, but hopefully we'll get that in a future update. So from here, we start looking at what each of these numbers means. The shipment number is the number of shipments you have completed for this supplier. The order streak is the number of shipments you've completed in a row without letting it reset. This means waiting three days with the order refresh and not ever completing the order. So you do have some time to avoid losing your order streak. From here you have the quantity. The quantity shows you the amount required here and the amount you currently have. This can be in your storage, so you don't have to worry about carrying these materials. And lastly, you have your rewards from each of these shipments. That usually it gives you a box for every one and gives you some kind of material and then a moderate amount of gold for each order you completed. So from here, we look at the order streak, which is the most important factor here. And this is completing orders in a row without letting it reset. Now, every time the order streak goes up, your rewards go up, but so does the material cost. So up to 100 orders, every time the order streak goes up, it will increase the amount. I've seen this as high as 20,000 for something like copper ore. So 20,000 copper ore seems like a lot, but once you get past 100, then the order streak starts reversing and the quantity required for every quest goes down until you reach 200. After 200, the amount stays the same. So it is paramount important to get the 200 order streak as soon as possible and this allows you to gain easy boxes every day from now until the end of time so that's good also when you complete your order streaks at every five orders you gain an additional box so you gain one 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 and then you get two for the fifth one and then at 20 orders you gain plus three additional boxes at 50 orders you gain plus five additional boxes and at 100 orders you gain plus nine additional boxes this is the main reason that completing order streaks is so important so every one of these has its own order streak as you can see so make sure you're keeping up with that every day another important note to mention here is the silver pin and the silver pin is gained as a rare drop from either mobs or skilling and you can gain quite a few of them but the uh, main use for them is to reset your orders this can be used to reset either completed or uncompleted orders if it's uncompleted you do not gain the reward from it but it does allow you to continue your order streak so as you can see we can complete our order here and then we click the silver pen and then tap to refresh and it gives us our next order. Uh, every time we use a pen, we do gain a shield and the shield gives you one additional day that it protects your order streak. So the base is three days that your order streak is safe and then one additional day for each shield. You can also use 
a pen to reset your shield here. As it says at the top of the screen, tap a shield to reset. Uh, it's really not recommended to do that, but it's worth mentioning anyway. Now, onto the rewards section. So the rewards are Bob's boxes here, and it shows you how many boxes you've got from completing orders, how many from your streak bonuses, and then your miscellaneous is from an alchemy vial. So looking at all of your rewards here, you spend your boxes down here in the bottom. These boxes are individualized for each character, so every time you complete an order, every character gets an additional box. So you can spend them however you want on each character. So looking at it, for the fight box, at initially you only get base damage. When you turn in 25 boxes here, you will start getting the second line, which is the fight AFK gain rates. And then when you turn in at least 100 boxes, it will unlock the critical chance here. So then you start gaining percentages and everything. When you get to 200 boxes turned in, you have gained roughly 75% of the total value. So it's important to get to 200. After that, the diminishing return starts hurting, but it is still worth it usually. From here, we can look at some of the other rewards, which is like the health, where you gain base max HP, percent to max HP, and then self-heal. Unfortunately, at this time, the self-heal is currently bugged. So don't go for this box if you're just looking for the self-heal. The next is the mana, which is very similar to health, max MP, percent to max MP, and then faster cooldowns. Utility gives you accuracy, defense, and monster XP. Your mining, chopping, catching, and fishing all give you the same effects for their respective skills, which is your efficiency, the prowess effect, and then your AFK gain rate for that particular skill. For your smithing, you get smithing XP, production speed, and plus one more crafting slot for your production. For the food box, we get percent to not consume food, health food effect, and power food effect. For alchemy is another special one, gives you brewing speed. However, this only works if it's on the active character, but if it is on your active character, it applies to all characters. So keep that in mind when you're leveling up the alchemy box. It also can give you alchemy XP and cranium cook time, which is from the shaman's talent. The last one on this page is the drop box, and it gives you percent to drop rarity, plus lock, and percent to crystal mob spawn chance. Once you have completed enough orders to unlock Cosmic Carrier here, you also gain access to Charlie's Crates, which gives us the damage box, which gives us weapon power, basic attack speed, and percent to total damage. The utility box gives us printer sample size, percent to multi-kill per tier, which is the same as Death Note, and percent cash from mobs. For the lazy loot crate here, we get times two AFK XP chance. We get AFK XP if you're gone for more than 36 hours, and then AFK cash for more than 36 hours. For the trap box, we get trapping efficiency, trapping XP, and percent to a number of critters trapped. For the construction box, we gain base build rate, shrine charge rate, and construction XP. And for the last box here, we have worship efficiency, max charge, and starting points in the worship tower defense. So this is all of the things that you can gain from the post office. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Ice Locked with Nocturne Gaming. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, please leave them down below for me, and we'll see you next time.